What can you tell us about what ODNI is doing right now? They say they're doing a, a classification review and also a damage assessment um, about these documents that were taken from the, the former president. Can you shed any light for us on, on what those terms mean and what it means they're really doing? Sure. And I think it's important to focus on this, and I'm glad that you have, because I think there has been so much discussion over the weekend and really the last three weeks about the criminal investigation. And just as important as that is this uh, the national security threat posed by the mishandling of these highly sensitive, highly classified documents. So the first thing that uh, the director of national intelligence said in that letter to Congress that the her office, the um, office of the director of national intelligence and the whole co intelligence community would do is a classification review. That means they're going to look at the documents that have been seized, the classified ones, and really determine, is that level of classification still the right level of classification, right? Because sometimes classified information over the course of time and events in the world uh, is not necessary to be classified anymore, or it could be potentially classified at a different level. And so that classification review is to make sure or just check to see what are these documents? Are they all still, do they all still justify the classifications they have? Because as, as your viewers will know, if they looked at the redacted aff affidavit, some of the unredacted portions explain the different classification levels of review, right? So from just damage to national security all the way up to exceptionally grave damage to national security. And then the second thing that the uh, intelligence community is going to do, you've, I think, quite accurately referred to as a damage assessment, which is they are going to be concerned, very concerned, with figuring out, to the best of their ability, you know, what types of harm to national security could uh, occur if these documents, this information, or the information in these documents were to fall in people who are not authorized to receive them. That could be foreign adversaries, that could be foreign spies, that could be opportunists, that could be criminals, etc. So that means not only uh, looking at the documents themselves and assessing, you know, how sensitive they are they, but trying to figure out who might have access, who have had access to them. Certainly within Mar-a-Lago, we know this is a place that is open to visitors. There are often foreign guests there. We now know that these materials were stored at all different locations within the premises. And we know that there have been foreign uh, agents or foreign nationals who have gotten into Mar-a-Lago un under false pretenses before. Um, so some of the things that the department has asked for are the surveillance videos from within the premises to kind of see who is it coming and going, who might have had access to the different spaces where these documents were found. They're going to be looking to see, do we have compromised confidential human uh, sources who are in danger, potentially in danger now? Do we have intelligence collection methods that are potentially at risk now? Do we have foreign, foreign intelligence, meaning intelligence shared with us by our foreign government allies that maybe has been compromised, right? All of these things are going to be concerns. Do we have critical technologies that are important to our critical infrastructure, our mass transportation, our communication systems, our banking systems, all of these things that protect that potentially are at risk. So all of that is going to go into this damage assessment, and that will be ongoing. Uh, it won't be something that can be finished in a week or two. That's going to be a continuing process.